This is Philippians chapter 4 and verse 12. I know both how to be a base and I know how to be a bound everywhere in all things. I'm instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. Barak the Yahweh, Barak the Yahweh Shah. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. Yahweh been in the name of the Father, who people are going to call God. Yahweh Shah is his son, who people are going to call Jesus. Bahashem, Raka Kodash. That's in the name of the Holy Spirit. And that's where we get our revelation, our knowledge, our wisdom, and understanding through these scriptures. Peace and blessings to you, Akim, out there that's constantly fighting the good fight of faith, Lord will to the end, and double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth. The Lord will this lesson be edifying to the elect. Going in today on, I know how to be a base and I know how to abound. Being, meaning, I know how to have and I know how to have not. You know, you know how to, you know, be, you know, where you, you know, you're straight where you, you got enough, whether it's uh, financially or whatever, you know, because uh, it could be, you know, where you physically able, where you are financially able, even in, in, in sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes in a spirit, you know, sometimes in a spirit and most of the time, you know, uh, mentally where you, you know, you, you, sometimes it's uh, your, your mental strength is not as strong as it is at other times. Sometimes your, your physical Strength is not as strong as it as it can be at other times. You know, we're not always at a hundred. You know, sometimes uh, in in a financial st st uh, status, we don't we don't always have it. But whatever state you know that we in through the power of Yahweh Shem and that's what it always goes back to. It always go back to the to the power. Of, what's going on? It's always it always go back to the to the to. Uh, power of Yahweh Shem how he how he got us you know is is how how he has us uh set and able to you know go through whatever we're going through he has it where we where we're in the in the in uh the belly of the beast as it is and still be able to come out strong <clears throat> you know just like how it was for Jonah because Jonah he went through all kind of shit man Jonah went through a whole lot of shit man he went through a whole lot of uh but that was because he was running from what he was supposed to be doing so he had to be put into that to that uh to that belly of that of that huge fish and you know for a period of time i want to say it was three days and then finally be spewed out you know so that he can go and do what he was supposed to do but jonah he had to go through it though you know he had to understand like hey it was it's hard sometimes but hey we, through the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shah, he give us what's needed to be able to, you know, go through those things. So I'm just going to bring out a few <clears throat> scriptures and Lord will this lesson be at a fine. So this is, uh, I'm going to read it again. Philippians 4 and 12. I know both how to be a base and I know how to abound everywhere. And in all things, I'm instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. So, Whatever state that we in, we understand how to how to go through it. Let me, matter of fact, I'm gonna go to that. Let's see, because I think that's what it says. That All right, it's jumping up, uh, Philippians 4 and 11, it says, Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. Whatever state we in, man, whatever we going through, we understand, hey, through the spirit of Yahweh, Shem Yah Shah, hey, he's not going to put more on us than we can handle. And that's, that's why scriptures say precept upon precept, because we, you know, we're able to grasp some from here and there. People, uh, whack ass Christians call it a, a, a spiritual hopscotch, you know, which it's not, man. It's just as the scriptures say, uh, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little. So, you know, you grasp from this, grasp from that, and then it, it's able to, to to sustain you, you know, because these scriptures is what? The comforter. These scriptures comfort us. They give us what we need to be able to go through 
whatever hell that we are going through, whatever hell you going through, you know, it gives us what we need to be able to be to, to sustain ourselves. So I'm going to jump back to Philippians chapter four and 12. I know both how to be a base and I know how to abound everywhere in all things. I'm in instructed both to be full. He instructs us, you know, he said it instructed both to be full and to be hungry. So sometimes, you know, in a literal sense, you may be hungry. That's why fasting is, is a, is, is a good thing on all levels. It's good in the physical. It's good on the mental. It's good spiritually. You know, you're taking time like this intermittent fasting is bomb, man, because it's constantly, it's a constant thing to, to, uh, you know, to, uh, or what do we call it when we, uh, when we do the uh, day of atonement, when we, when we, uh, basically, uh, for a lack of a better word, uh, uh, making our bodies a living sacrifice, you know, but it's a, it's a term for a Lord will come back to me, but basically we just, we, we pushing down this flesh and we, and we uplifting our spirit. Cause when you, when you constantly feed to this, to this, uh, flesh, you constantly giving unto the flesh to giving unto the flesh. Hey, that's, what's going to rule. If you constantly just giving in, go, giving over to that. And that's nothing that, uh, you're going to be able to do when that time coming. You, you're just going to constantly be wanting to run to the flesh. It's a lot. It says, I know both how to be a base and I know how to abound everywhere in all things. I'm instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. And then it says, I can do all things through Hamashiach with strengthening me. And we understand that's the only way that we can do all things is through Yahabah Shemiahashah. Because within our own self, we can't do it. Ish, man. Within our own self, that's why Jake, Jake believe in himself. Like, literally, like he's a, 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 like he can't be touched. But we know we can't be touched through the spirit of Yahabah Shemiahashah. It's, 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 uh, it's levels, you know? It's not that we with, within our own self, we're nothing. But with Yahabah Shemiahashah, we're everything. We're, 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 we're the power, man. You know, we, we, we have power within us, but that's through the spirit of Yahabah Shemiahashah. We, we not, we get all this. It's just like in the natural, you got a, you got a big brother. You know, it, I'm trying to think of a movie. I think it was Friday when he saw his, it was one one of those movies where he saw his people. Oh, it was Juice, but it it turned out bad for him when when old boy Tupac when he was uh he was he saw he saw his his people, so he got real tough and bad. Like basically, he bucked up. Like what you want to do? And but they but they just they just ignored him though. But for us, we believe that Yahweh Shemuel Shah he got our back, so we get like that. We get real, but that's through the that's. You know, because we know our big brother, Yahweh Shai, and our and our heavenly father, Yahweh, got our back. So we see them, and that's our covering. So we, you know, we speak in boldness on what we speak on. It's not of us, because in us, we, you know, we're worms, we're nothing. But through the spirit of Yahweh Shimao Shah, we're everything. We're 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 strong, man, through the power of Yahweh Shimao Shah. You can't say the name enough. You get tired of hearing the name, something's up. <laughs> Sums up. I'm gonna jump to this one. This is uh Second Corinthians chapter six and verse four. Man, if y'all only could see what I could see, that's what I'll be wishing sometimes. You out and you not like out and about, but just you know, like I'm right now, I'm just in my vehicle and doing this vehicle. I mean doing this video, Salakia. And uh you just see different spirits that walk by, you know, and and you just like, man, the water y'all by Shemel shot for this truth, you know, because hey, we could we could be taken into what's going on in this world, man. This world, this world is is, is you just literally see uh, zombies just walking around, man. People just zoned out, demons, you know, everywhere. As 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 I'm sitting here right now, motherfucker just walk upon you. You just like, what the hell? Everybody just walking around this place, just zone. And I ain't in no, you know, uh, super ghetto ass, you know, but it's just, I think it's everywhere now. I think this, between that, uh, 
that jab, you know, and the and the and the uh, uh, the four twenty being being made legal now, so everybody just high and everybody jabbed up. So it's a horrible combination. But anyway, this is Second Corinthians chapter six and verse four it says, "But in all things, approving ourselves as the ministers of the Most High, and much patience in afflictions." And necessities and distresses. So through all things, we getting all type of we combated upon a, a, all kind of things. So verse five it says, "In stripes and imprisonments, and tumults and labors and watchings and fastings, everything that we going through, through you going to to prison for this truth, we have to remember this. All this we gonna have to, you know, calculate in our mind like, hey, we we going through it." As Yahweh Shai did. We always go back to our big brother Yahweh Shai, like, man, he went through it. You know, he went through it. He going through it. So verse six it says, by prunus, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Spirit, by love, unfeigned, by the word of truth, by the power of the most high, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left, by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report as deceivers and yet true as unknown and yet well known as dying and behold we live as chastened and not killed as sorrowful yet always rejoicing as poor yet making many rich as having nothing and yet possessing all things so through any and everything through the spirit of Yah, that's why it's always we always bring out no matter what, man, the elect going to come out on top because the elect may come up against every opposition that's out there from being in prison, you know, to, to coming up against uh, uh, different uh, accusations, coming up, uh, uh, up against being in poverty, being homeless, being in gangs. It, it could be where they own the rich and then they end up poor. It's everything where they could be wealthy, they could be a known name and become nothing. You come into this truth, you got to be willing to let it all go. And that's what people are not willing to forsake. Just like the scripture spoke of the, the rich man. The rich man, he told him, hey, forsake everything and come follow me. Yeah, he was like, hey, I can't. Basically, he couldn't. I can't do that. I can't. No, no, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. And that's how it is. You got to be willing to forsake it all. So I'm going to jump to this one. This is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 12. I'm going to close it on this one. Twelve, yep. Second Corinthians chapter twelve and verse seven. And lest I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations, there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan, to buffeted me, lest I should be exalted above measure. A hey, Satan, a hey, he, the scripture say he's like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. A hey, don't think it's strange if you know you start getting attacked by by different entities you know you're like what the hell's going on like you getting hit left and right <laughs> you 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 overcome one thing and then something else right there right right behind you. and it's not is it's not don't think it's strange just understand that this is part of the battle this is part of the you know the fight this is part of the what what's to come and only through the spirit of yahabah shimel shower we're going to be able to make it you know, we, we got our children. We got to keep them up in prayer because Satan desire to sift them, too. Because he know that he can use them to, to be a distraction for you. Your, your woman, if you got a woman, you use her. Your mother, anybody that's, that, that's you know, close. Just like how he was talking about uh, on the Matrix. I always bring that out. He, with the Matrix, he, he, he was, uh, Neil, he was in the, he was in the Matrix, man, and he turn around in the red dress, turn around, and look, anybody could be a part of it. That's why we, we got to be willing to attack, detach from anything and everybody. Because it's possible that a person could be an agent. You know, this is it is a possibility. You know, it's a high possibility that this person is an agent. You know, so we just got to be on our P's and Q's, stay prayed up. And, you know, just constantly pray, constantly uh, endure. Hardship as a good soldier and, and just really just live this truth. Because as the scriptures say, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. This is what's going to keep us stable.
through all the bullshit that we coming up against as we going through it and as we come up against it. Lord will, this is that a fine to the elect until next time. Lord will. Shalom.